So we compared uh, outcomes of uh, 60 patients. Uh, these are all 60 patients who received a CD34 selected stem cell boost for poor graft function and graft failure at University of Kansas in the past 10 years. And uh, so we saw encouraging outcomes. We recently published a meta-analysis uh, supporting the use of a CD34 selected stem cell boost for poor function and graft failure. Now, this is a homogenous uh, single center uh, experience and, and we saw that, uh, and we included patients with both primary and secondary graft failure, and uh, we included patients with poor graft function who are defined as cytopenias in two or more lineages, uh, as such neutropenia defined with neutrophil count less than 500 per microliter, platelet count less than 30 per mi uh, kilo per microliter, and hemoglobin uh, less than 8 grams per deciliter in the presence of transfusion dependence and growth factor support uh, ongoing for two weeks. And we, we had patients with poor graft function who has a uh, full donor chimerism and patients with graft failure or graft ejection concern where there is a mixed chimerism. We saw responses in across all groups. Uh, uh, the complete response, hematologic response was 75%. Uh, overall response rate was 83%. Uh, the survival uh, in this group, one year survival was 41%. Uh, median survival was about two years. And most patients die with uh, infection. So 70% uh, infectious death. And so it is the, the interventions are delayed. Usually when pa pa patients develop graft failure, the time to delivery of these life-saving intervention, there is a delay in that. So this data would support uh, utilizing a CD34 selected stem cell boost for this challenging uh, complication after transplant early.